morning, peeps. You ready to read? This is written by Mark Finley. The verse for today is 1 Thessalonians 5.21. Test all things. Hold fast what is good. Abstain from every form of evil. In many parts of the world, especially where people have free access to the Bible, Satan has employed other means to weaken its influence. One very effective way has been through various scientific endeavors or even biblical scholarship, which sometimes takes positions that, if accepted, would undermine trust in the Word of God. For example, though the book of Daniel dates itself to more than 500 years before Christ, Many Bible scholars date it instead to the middle of the 2nd century BC. They argue that it had to be written at that time, otherwise the prophet would have been accurately telling the future and that can't happen. Therefore, they argue Daniel was not written when it says it was, but rather hundreds of years later. Unfortunately, this lie about the Bible is one of the many that modern scholarship seeks to foist upon us. And more unfortunately, many people accept this error because after all, Bible scholars are teaching it. No wonder Paul warns us, test all things, hold fast what is good. I thought that was good. I, you know, I was watching. I, I really like these uh, shows that um, like go out and look at wonders of the world. You know, they're and they talk about how they think that they got there and stuff, and it fascinates me. Mostly it fascinates me to see these interesting things, but, you know, they're always dissing the Bible in them, which irritates me because, you know, it's not a historical document, they say, and all of these things, and I, and I look at this and go, oh yeah, it's another one of those things that Satan is trying to, you know, dissuade me to think that the Bible is not what I should be following when it is. So, I just thought I would share that with you. Anyways, I got my book, peeps. Good morning, Heavenly Father. I'm so grateful that you gave us your Bible, your book, your word to instruct us and teach us and not let us know what is going on. And I appreciate the 57 theologians who actually wrote the King James Version out of old information that was passed down through the years so that I have access myself. I'm lifting up my peeps, Lord, the ones in the book and the ones that aren't in the book. Please help them to find your word as fascinating as I do. All this I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. That's it, peeps. I hope this finds you absolutely amazing. Stay blessed. Until next time. Hey, you made it to the end. Please hit like and subscribe and thanks for watching.